Hello, and welcome to Learn How to Quilt series on using fabric to wrap gifts. Our first video featured a bag made with straight line quilting. Video number two highlighted free motion quilting. In this video, you'll find some more ways to use fabric in place of wrapping paper. First, you'll get a quick look at using fabric like traditional wrapping paper. Then you'll get some ideas for making fabric bags without batting. You also get some money-saving tips for ribbon and gift tags. Below you'll find the times these topics appear in the video so you can skip ahead if need be. There are so many beautiful designs printed on fabric. Sometimes I have a hard time cutting into the material. A few years ago I started wrapping my family gifts with some of my favorite yardage. We got to enjoy the prints before the celebration and then after the presents were open, the fabric went back into the stash. Or sometimes it ended up being part of the gift for a quilting friend. To get started, make sure your fabric's been pressed. If it's a light color, you might want to double it. Wrap the gift as you normally would. Instead of tape, use pins. After the package has been wrapped, add ribbon and a gift tag. Remove the pins. The ribbon usually holds everything together. However, if you notice an area shifting, then use a safety pin for holding. The best thing about this gift wrap, no paper to clean up, and your fabric can be reused for wrapping or for another quilt project. For this gift bag, I'm using these fat quarters that I picked up at the shop hop, but you can use leftover scraps and make these any size. By the way, this is a good project for beginner sewers as it only involves straight line sewing. After pressing this fabric, I cut both of these the same size, one for the outside and one for the lining. Put right sides together and stitch a quarter inch seam all the way down on both of these sides. For the lining, stitch a quarter inch seam down this side and then stop about three to four inches from the end. You'll need this opening for turning. Turn the top inside out and then place it inside the lining. Be sure that the right sides are together. Match up that side seam and pin. Continue pinning around the edge. I stitch the quarter inch seam around the top. I'll reach in to turn this inside out. You'll end up with something that looks like this tube. Take the lining, put it inside the bag. Take this to the ironing board and press along this edge. Press the seams down on this opening and then machine stitch this together. If you want this to be reversible, then hand stitch this area. Top stitch about an eighth to a quarter of an inch all the way around. Place your gift inside and then finish with a ribbon. You can make a more structured bottom on your bag. Before turning your top inside out, press the bottom. Cut a square from a scrap piece of cardboard and then cut that square on the diagonal. This will be your template. Line up the bottom seam with the side seam. Place your template over the top and stitch this line. On this side, I lined up the press line with that bottom seam line. Here's that flat bottom. You can also make unlined bags. Just make sure to finish off the edge. Press down about a quarter inch, turn it over, and then add top stitching. Sometimes I make bags from clothing, maybe a favorite shirt or skirt. You can also add leftover blocks to your bags. Just add borders and then stitch the sides together. Instead of ribbon, why not try strips of fabric? Usually I use scraps like this piece tripped off a border. I'm glad I saved this because I think it works well with this bag. 
Sometimes I just have to cut a strip from a new piece of fabric. I really liked how this fabric went with this floral. Another tip for saving money on gift wrap. Use leftover greeting cards to make gift tags. Find an area that looks nice and cut. Use a hole punch and then use ribbon or string as a tie. Hope you get a chance to replace that wrapping paper with fabric bags or wraps. If you haven't already, check out the first two videos in this series where you'll learn about making quilted bags. These bags are great for practicing your quilting before tackling a larger project. Also, please share in the comments section below any tips or ideas that you have for wrapping with fabric. Thanks for visiting LearnHowToQuilt.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to get alerted when a new video comes out. You can also sign up for updates and free patterns at LearnHowToQuilt.com.